I am proud that I have finished writing my book. If I didn't have that program, I wouldn't have gotten that. So, thank you, Raymond. Um, so, I am the author of the book, The Light Bulb Strategy Seven Steps to Switch It On and Lead a Brilliant Life. Mm -hmm. So, can I tell you my wow story? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, so, it started back in February, and I was driving my car. And my car runs on two things. I need two things for my car to run. The first thing is gasoline, because I don't have that test of it, like rain, right? And the second thing is I need content, like inspirational content, like CDs, books, stuff that can fuel my brain. And I just love that stuff. And at that particular February day, I was listening to an interview, and it was Darren Hardy, and he's the, uh, he's the publisher of Success Magazine. And he was interviewing Jack Canfield. And I'm listening to this interview, and Jack Canfield, you know, I just, what a classy guy. And I thought, gee, wouldn't it be great if I could meet this guy, shake his hand, and thank him for all that he's done for the personal development world? And I thought, gee, wouldn't it be great if I could get a testimonial for my personal development book from Jack? So then I attend the March monthly mentor meeting. And Raymond announces that Jack Hanfield is coming to Toronto for the, you know, for his, his, his conference. And I'm going, that's, that's wow, like, whoa, that's, is that a posture? I think that's a posture, all right. So, so I, you know, I uh, wrote my main form that month. I sat there and I wrote it out. And my minimum was to get a testimonial one testimony written for my book. My target was to get my foreword done for my book, for Raymond. And then my outrageous goal was to have Jack Canfield provide a testimonial for my book. Hmm. So the next thing I did was I bought a VIP ticket to the conference because that would ensure that I got to meet Jack, shake his hand, and thank him, and maybe ask him for a testimonial for my book. So I attended the event, and sure enough, you know, I met Jack, shook his hand, I got a picture with him, right? And then I attended the VIP dinner. And after dinner, we all were lining up to meet Jack at his table. And, uh, you know, finally it was my turn, and I sat down with Jack, and I handed him my book. And it's the Success Principles book. And uh, I'd run out to the bookstore previously, and. I went through the bookstore and there was about 10 copies on the shelf and I went through all the books to make sure I found the one that was in the best mint condition because I knew he was going to be signing it. So I bring this book and I present it to Jack and I said, hey Jack, uh, you know, I'm, I just wrote a personal development book myself and was hoping that, uh, you know, you could provide a testimonial for me because, you know, in your book, The Success Principles, principle number 17 is ask, ask, ask. So I'm asking. And he says, no. <laughs> he says, I'm sorry, Rob, but I'm taking a hiatus. I'm writing testimonials right now. I'm working on a special project. And I said, OK, no, I understand. That's perfectly fine. And I pulled up my cell phone, and I showed him like, the book cover of my book. And I showed him, yeah, this is my book cover. It's the light bulb strategy, seven steps to switch it on and lead a brilliant life. And he looks at it, and he goes, he says, wow, that's really creative. And so I, I was looking over my shoulder. And the guy next to me, he's kind of thinking, you're overextending your time spending here with Jack, and so on and so on, right? So I said, no, thank you, Jack, for your time, and appreciate it, shook his hand, and I left. So three days later, and it's right after the conference, we got monthly mentor session again, so it's April monthly mentor. And I'm scoring my mainly, and I did okay, I did pretty good, but I didn't get my outrageous goal of getting Jack to provide me with a testimonial. That same night, I don't know if you, anybody here from the last monthly mentor was here, was we were talking about advertising techniques. And there's all the different advertising techniques. We're going through samples, uh, pulling out magazine articles and looking through them on the different types of advertising. 
And Raymond was taking us through it, saying, you know, there's different types, you know, whether it's surprise, whether it's greed. I mean, they talked about sex, there was mystery, there was all different types of techniques. And the one that really grabbed me was mystery. And Raymond was talking about how he uses mystery in his email notes. And I thought, well, maybe I could use this to ask, you know, Jack again for a testimonial because principle number 18 in his book is reject rejection. Right? <laughs> so, I don't know if you were at the conference and you saw Jack speak, when he was up speaking, he, uh, he kept putting up cartoons on the screen. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. And he kept saying, well, here's another good one. Here's another good one. And just cartoons kept coming. And I thought, wow, he really enjoys humor. So I thought, you know, chapter one of my book, uh, The Light Bulb Strategy, chapter one is change the light bulb. And I start that chapter with a, with a joke. And the joke is, how many psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> well, just one. But the light bulb has to want to change, right? <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll put that as the first paragraph in my email to Jack. And then I thought, well, the mystery component that we learned is in the subject line, I put, that's a good one, dot, dot, dot. And that really begs the question, like, what's a good one, right? What's a good one? <clears throat> so I put that in the note, and then I you know, explained about what the light bulb strategy is all about. And then basically, I created a light bulb strategy blueprint. And basically what I do is I turn people into light bulbs, okay? And I use light analogies all throughout the book on what you need to do to lead a brilliant life. And for example, uh, I use the example when we talk about limiting beliefs, we're talking about limiting beliefs tonight. So there's the thing where you say, I can't do that, I'm not smart enough to do that. Those are limiting beliefs. So I use the analogy that that's 60 watt light bulb thinking. Okay? And when you look at a light bulb, you see written right on the light bulb, 60 watts, right? That is the power limit of that light bulb. Well, what would that light bulb have to do to become a 100 watt light bulb, a 1000 watt light bulb, a 5000 watt light bulb? You have to change the way you talk to yourself. So I explained the concept to Jack. I provided him an electronic copy of my book and I provided him with a testimonial that I was looking for him to approve. And uh, then I signed it, Robert Craig, the light bulb strategy guy, because Raymond taught me how to brand, and so I branded myself as the light bulb strategy guy. And then I put my web address, lightbulbs, thelightbulbstrategy.com, and I emailed it off. So I emailed that at 10 to 7 in the morning. At 9 o'clock that night, I got an email back from Jack Pantu saying, Rob, I approve of your testimonial for your book. He, uh, he, he provided me some recommendations for my book. He was even pointing out places where I was missing periods in some of my sentences. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, you know, so it's just, uh, I was just, I was, well, I couldn't sleep that night. I was just, I was just in so much. Can I tell you excitement. how big that is? It's huge. I was just, I wrote two books with Jack Hanfield, one of them New York Times bestseller. And I'm writing another book with Jack right now, which I can't release the details of right now. And he doesn't reply to me that fast. Wow. <laughs> can, I, can I read my testimonial that I got? Go for it. Okay. So Robert gives you a new light approach to personal development. His creative and unique light bulb strategy blueprint provides the framework to help you plan and lead a brilliant life. Yeah, wow. So he used what he learned from Jack, ask, ask, ask. When it didn't work, he used another thing he learned from Jack, reject, rejection. And he was high tone and positive because he just came from Create Your Own Economy, that built him up from two monthly mentor sessions, so it was positive. He just kept going for it, and he got it. Yeah, like, bravo. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Yeah.